hello dear student how are you all i think everyone are fine there so student today we are going to begin with the poem of the unit number 2 and the name of the poem is geography lesson so student today we are going to begin a new poem a very interesting poem and very a uh, a well known a very better and a well meaning poem this is what we are going to begin here so student looks towards the board you have here unit number 2 okay the poem number 2 geography lesson okay and it is a book 1 so here we are going to write the glossary part whatever coming here in this video so before beginning the video let's discuss what is there in this poem so here in the poem you are going to learn about the geography lesson so student it is a part of a social science or it is a part of a geography no it is not like that it is not a part of social science and it is not a part of geography it is a part of the english a poem where a poem is written a poem is composed by sharing its or sharing its views and the opinions of the poet regarding to the earth what he thinks about it what he thinks about the geography that's why he written it in a such a small stanzas and he note it down there on the piece of the paper and the name of that poem is geography lesson so student this is what we are going to learn here in the geography lesson in this poem geography lesson we will differentiate the settlement of the human beings and the naturalization of the earth the nature is a god gifted and how a human being is trying to disturb this nature and they were facing flood natural disaster a tsunami what you have read in the previous uh, lesson so this is what happening with these human beings so it is an alarm of the nature so everyone should get alert about this so they shouldn't do anything wrong with the nature they should be friendly with the nature and they should help the nature to grow and prosper rather than disturbing it so this is what we are going to learn here again in the poem geography lesson here in the geography lesson you will know and you will learn about the experiences of the poet zulfikar ghosh so he is a one of the good poet a good writer a good composer and a good choreographer of many short movies even he have written a many and many extracts which gives a good morality at last so in this poem you are going to learn about the geography about the land forms about the land even about the earth and how it is compared with the human activity so student let's begin with the poem let's begin with each and every stanza of this poem thoroughly with the deep meaning of each and single word and each and every sentence of every stanza perfectly and get know about what is there actually in this poem so student let's begin with the poem without a further go and let's be started so before reading the poem or narrating the poem here we have one introduction which is given on the page number 34 yes so student i would like to insist you all please open the page number 34 or you have an app okay open it in another mobile okay and come on the page number 34 34 and here you will get the poem geography lesson so wherever i am reading just see out that line or see out that sentence and try to understand what is an actual meaning of that word or a sentence so student let's begin with the poem geography lesson this geography lesson a poem is written by zulfikar ghosh what it is it is written by the poet and his name is zulfikar zulfikar ghosh zulfikar ghosh 
let's learn about the poet of the poem zulfikar ghosh zulfikar ghosh is a american and pakistani and pakistani poet though he born in india though he born in india but what happened with him but due to partition due to partition okay due to partition he he was migrated he was migrated to pakistan permanently okay permanently which which was his which was his native place so this is what we know about the zulfikar ghosh and what we know about him that he given he given a very precious and a meaningful okay stories a short stories even the lessons even the abstracts even the poems to the society he given meaning full poems short stories lesson etc to the society and this is what published here in your textbook so student this is what we know about the poet zulfikar ghosh and this poem is written by this poet so before beginning the poem let's begin with this what is there in the introduction part of this poem see can you imagine what your city would look like if you saw it from 10000 feet above the ground question neatly planned and perfect in proportion like a geometric design it would strike you as something very different from what it actually is while you are in the thick of it then what happened see in the introduction a question was being asked by a zulfikar ghosh can you imagine if you travels somewhere 10000 feet above from the earth surface can you imagine how your city how your village and how your town looks like from such a far heighted place if you are traveling there on the aeroplane and you can see towards the city you will find a too many differentiation a differentiation what you have there in in between the city and a differentiation what you were looking towards your city somewhere up from the sky and you will make a such a huge differentiation in between these two from the up you can look how your city was constructed in a such a particular layout the houses even the huts were okay made up or they were constructed in a such a sequence manner okay in a such a chronicle manner though there is a road in between the gullies in between the localities in between the colonies and you can differentiate it from up and somewhere from the down so this brings a huge differentiation in between the town city and and somewhere you are traveling up or up over from your city so this is what here the poet brings out a huge difference in between the city and in between where he is watching towards that city up from the sky so let's begin so here is a poet's description of just such a view of the city and some questions that come to his mind though the poet is traveling and the aeroplane and he is watching over his city somewhere from the sky and a such a big big questions arising in his mind and these questions were made into the poem and it was published here so what are these question questions are these questions are relevant and answerable or they wouldn't be answered at all 
or they kept for a pending so let's see this question and understand and answer it thoroughly to the poet so let's begin with the first stanza of the poem a very beautiful poem what it is it is a geography lesson though the lesson means a group of a paragraphs it these a lesson means a paragraph which tells about a big story okay in the form of the pages but this geography lesson is a name of the poem it is not a paragraph or it is not a lesson or it is not any big story it is a poem and here we are going to learn that what kind of the questions arise there okay in the mind of the zulfikar ghosh so the first parag stanza we have when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile there seemed an inevitability okay about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky now he is telling when my jet when when my air plane air plane is flying over the sky when it is taking off from the runway then i can guess how the city looks like though my jet is going slowly slowly upwards and it is okay getting hidden in the clouds of the sky then when when my jet and the aeroplane is going slowly slowly upwards to the clouds then he is examining and he is thinking something in his mind how my city looks like what he says when the jet sprang into the sky sprang means moving quickly so write it down in the glossary portion in your literature notebook here you got a new word it means sprang what it means it means moving moving quickly it means moving quickly is called sprang it was clear why the city had developed the way it had then it became a clear in my mind why this city was developed in this way in this in such a okay layout though when when i was there in between the city i couldn't guess why this locality is here why this gully is here why the water facility okay area is here why the parking facility is here so i couldn't guess it but now it is totally okay flashed it is totally clear to mind to my mind that why this city was developed or constructed or made up in such a good layout because he is flying towards the sky and he can see his city thoroughly okay without any hindrances or without any difficulties somewhere from the up over the sky then what he says seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile then what he said though slowly slowly i am going to the upwards somewhere in the deep sky i can scale or i can length my city in just 6 inches so what it means scaled 6 inches to the mile what it means what is the meaning of this phrase yes scaled 6 inches to the mile scaled 6 inch inches to the mile what is the meaning of this phrase so student might be you have solved some questions related to the map and you have drawn the places on the map okay in your previous classes or you are might be doing this kind of work in your social science yes or no so while seeing the indian map or a world map there you will get the scale like this there you will get the scale so what you will find one mile equal to how many kilometers let's say 1 mile equal to 1000 okay kilometer so it is a scale it is a scale of that area so he is telling i can scale my whole city within a 6 inches i can tell the 6 inches is equal to be and 120 or a 200 and 
twenty square kilometer, where my the whole city was spreaded, where my whole city was scattered in such a six inches, okay, of six inches of the land. So it is very easy to one to scale the city in one centimeter or in millimeters or in inches, okay, because from upside the city looks small. Even the city looks okay to the dot of the pen to the dot of the ball point pen if you go more and more more and more higher and higher and you will hide yourself somewhere in the sky and if you see the city it will look, it will look like a dot and you can scale that it is a very milli and millimeters of the dot so this is what it means the scale and he's telling i can scale my the whole city in, in such a six inches then what he says in the last four line of the first stanza there seemed an inevitability okay there seemed an inevitability okay the word came here what it means write it down in the glossary inevitability inevitability it means it means wait inevitability it means yes the fact of being certain to happen so it is a fact inevitability means the fact of being the fact of being certain certain to happen is called inevitability is called inevitability which is written here okay there seemed an inevitability the fact of being which is going to be take place it is not hidden by anyone then about what on ground had look haphazard okay so it is in fact it is not hidden at all so what i am watching there on the ground it is haphazard what it is it is not useful it is worthless and it is badly organized so the word haphazard means badly organized so another word here in the glossary it means haphazard haphazard means a badly badly organized badly organized is called haphazard fine then unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky so what happened the whole city was in a, organized in a such a bad manner and it looks not good because some house is constructed here another house is constructed there and one more house is constructed in between the two houses and two or three houses were constructed in between the four houses so they were not planned they were unplanned and it doesn't look so good because it is so worthless haphazard okay not organized properly and in the last two line he says unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky so what he says the whole city is unplanned okay and the city and the style of the city is not good when the jet sprang into the sky when the jet is flying somewhere in the deep sky i can find the differentiation in between the city where i was and in between the city where i am now here i can see the city is not planned properly and it is not hidden by anyone okay people have been constructed their houses anywhere as their wish and it disturbed the beauty okay and the uh, punctuality and the uh, and the such a suitability of the city and it doesn't look so good it is haphazard but this city not look so good and however the people thought they have constructed their houses and they and this city don't have a proper style and even what he said in the first stanza i can scale my the whole city in a such a 6 inches though 220 square kilometer of the city such a huge city can be scaled into 6 inches because of the height of that jet because of the height of that aeroplane so student here we have completed the first stanza of the geography lesson and in the coming video we are going to discuss the second 
stanza of the geography lessons and the remaining stanzas so for the time being watch this video thoroughly from the beginning till last okay make notes which were written here on the board fine make a notes on the uh, this uh, poet so here i want to give one homework okay make a brief note on the poet in your literature notebook write the glossary portion of the book of the poem and try to understand the first stanza of the poem thoroughly and in the coming video we are going to discuss the second and the third stanza of the poem and we will do the working with the text which is available there in the okay uh, after glossary portion so student for the time being have a nice day take care